welcome back to the Happy Oyster, and today I'm going to show you my new hermit crab. So this is her, I named her Iris, and she's an Ecuadorian crab. The ways you can tell the difference between the Ecuadorian crab and the purple pincher is obviously the Ecuadorian has much darker exoskeleton than the purple pincher. And the Ecuadorian has elongated eyes. They are narrower. Let's see. It won't focus, but they have elongated eyes. And as you can see here, the purple pincher has very circular eyes. Also, the Ecuadorian crab has a stripe on the top of its head. It's a white head with a black stripe down the middle. And the purple pincher does not have that. So that's one way you can tell the difference between a purple pincher and Ecuadorian crab. When I got Iris yesterday, she was in this ugly painted shell. You guys know I hate these. Um, and as soon as I brought her home and the and the tank was filled with all of these amazing, pretty, natural shells. She immediately started searching around for a shell she could move into. And then that's whenever she moved into this one. It's a really pretty one. Since I got a new hermit crab, I'm going to go ahead and add some more substrate to my tank. That is the bottom I use. It is coconut fiber. You can get it at Petco, PetSmart. Um, it comes in a dry block. You have to wet it for it to expand. You squeeze the water out of it and you can put it in the tank. Um, I'm just adding some more so that they all have enough room to bury and molt. Later on in one of my future videos, I will cover everything you need to know about setting up a hermit crab habitat. So yeah, I'm just going to add the coconut fiber. This is it, into the tank. I have the tank all set up. Now it's time to add the hermits back into the tank. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next week.